So hello and welcome to the channel, I'm Andy at Express IT Tech Tips and today what I wanted to talk to you guys about was you know, what the channel is going to be about, what I'm trying to achieve, get to meet me a little bit and yes I, I'm aware that I've deliberately made this room a little bit darker than it should be. Um, I'm, I'm one of these people that I always buy the latest tech and to be honest normally there's piles of boxes behind me um, which I'm trying to sort through. I don't think there's many days that go by where Amazon don't or somebody else doesn't deliver a package to me that I'm kind of playing around with. Um, I like to also buy second-hand stuff. Um, you know, a lot of my server rack behind me on the right here, you know, has come from enterprise-grade kit that's kind of been decommissioned and, you know, I've got some absolute bargains over the years and, you know, I kind of just like playing the tech. Um, that does mean, though, I also like the latest and greatest stuff and with Black Friday approaching, um, to be honest. Yeah, this, this room could could end up looking, you know, like a box fort by the end of the month. So, um, you know, I'm keen to, as as my office kind of gets to how I want it to be, to be on camera a lot more, then I'll kind of up the lightage and hopefully show you a little bit more about what's in my surroundings. Um, I do have a green screen, but um, you know, for today, I'm just basically trying to get a video out there to kind of explain what the channel's about, what I'm trying to do. Um, I kind of like from you guys as well because this is um, you know this is a collaboration as far as I'm concerned. So, so a bit about me. Um, I said my name's Andy. I've worked in IT for a little under 20 years now. I started to go off as a um, an IT engineer. I think in desktops very very many years ago. Um, you know, kind of then worked and progressed my way up. Did networking and servers for quite some time and moved then on to projects. Um, where I was a project engineer and leader for a very many years, kind of almost doing a little bit like this, but kind of documenting guides and the architecture and stuff around what we were trying to do and then pass it on to the engineers. So I've always had this kind of ability to kind of take what you know I'd learn and, and put it down on paper. And more recently, I've started to do this in video. So in one of my recent roles, I had to basically during lockdown record videos around how individuals use technology and how they should use this and training materials and you know, I've taken a lot of inspiration from people on YouTube I'm sorry um, you know I'm not going to edit this video so anything I do mess up will be on there um, you know but I've taken a lot of um, you know inspiration from YouTube around you know like the likes of Techno Tim, Network Chuck, Radar or Craft Computing um, and almost a lot of tech tips as well, you know, they're massive, um, you know, massive following in the US and Canada, etc. And I want to kind of do a British take of what technology in Britain looks like. Um, now, I do have a tea, tea at some point. Um, I've kind of just tried to do this so many times today um, with video problems that I kind of gave up and the, the tea went cold. So, you know, this, this is about my 15th take. Um, but hopefully now this will come out and, you know, I'll kind of explain what I want to do. So about the channel, um, it will be around many things. It will be like tech reviews, unboxing, how-to guides. Um, I do have a home lab, so you know, mentioned some of the names I've you know dropped in earlier. You probably know if you're familiar with those channels. They they do a lot on those type of open source software and you know self-publishing, self-hosting stuff at home. You know, I, I run that kind of system here. Um, some stuff I can and can't talk about, but. Um, certainly cover off what I can. Um, I'm also an avid gamer so there will be certain stuff around gaming. Um, you know I do have a Steam Deck which is probably my best product and purchase this year um, by a long way. Absolutely amazing and to have a portable device which is basically a portable computer. I've owned a Nintendo Switch previously but didn't quite get on with the limited um, you know sort of functionality you get out of that. Also have an Xbox um, and PS5, so again can talk quite heavily about that. And my machine is basically a gaming computer, which I regularly play Final Fantasy XIV online on. So I can again talk a lot about those. But back onto the YouTube channel, I also wanted to do a kind of how I got into YouTube. Um, you know, I did wake up one day and decide, yes, you know what? After doing all this creative stuff, and I'm sorry, I've been doing my recent role. Um, around writing blogs, I thought, you know, I actually quite enjoy making content. So I decided to, to, to give it a go. So my first video, which was you know, just basically me unboxing an anchor plug, um, giving my kind of view on the, the product, was the start. Um, you know, to be honest, I should hopefully follow up you know, almost today or the next couple of days with another video about a product called Ventoy. 
um, I will start to appear on camera more. Um, you know, that's kind of my view, and, and I will hopefully bring in some other people in my family, like my son, who at the moment is going through his GCSEs um, with IT. You know, so I'd kind of, you know, I've always wanted to kind of get an extra bond that way, and I think maybe making content, maybe somewhere else we can we can bond apart from the football that we do already um, and gaming as well. Um, but what I wanted to do is kind of drop in, you know, how I've made these videos and, and what tools I've used and kind of the YouTube journey because you see a lot of people join YouTube and they bring out their content and videos, but I've not seen many that kind of go their cradle to the grave journey and, and, and thing. Now, I, I recorded my very first video, um, I to find it, with this particular device, um, you know, it sat in my son's drawer. Um, it's just a clamp for a phone. I, I use my S22 Ultra on this. Uh, which was good, it kind of done the job, and I pointed it down at the desk and done it that way, but it, it done the job, and the problem I had was, was that if I knocked that, it, it shook the video quite easily, so, you know, I had to do a bit of editing there, and, you know, I wasn't keen on doing that, now, the, 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 you know, the goal, golden Havana for me would be to go out and buy myself a nice expensive camera, and hopefully one day I get there, but until then, I've kind of done everything on a budget, and, basically went out and purchased from my you know, second favourite location, Amazon, I'm not sure it's my first, but you know, like a cell phone stand to kind of help me record those videos where I'm doing the top down unboxing, that should hopefully do for now, I've seen some great ideas of people that have got shelf ones that are similar to that, I'm just mentioning the clips on the shelf, so therefore it's the perfect height and then working on the lighting etc. And then a tripod. Um, now the main reason I bought this, I've already got a few tripods kicking around. I did used to have a good camera, but I got rid of it when I stopped using it, um, which I obviously regret now because I'll have to go out and get another one at some point. But was a tripod with the the mobile phone attachment, so that's what I've got at the moment. Um, I will like to get a gimbal. Um, I have stuck it on my list for my birthday coming, so hopefully. I get that and, and can do some videos that way, um, but I'm keen to say that I'm trying to do most of these things on a, you know, a, an even keel and a, a reasonable budget for people to, um, to aspire to. Now from the webcam point of view, I do have a Logitech Brio, that is a recent purchase and I'm not recording in 4K at the moment. I could have quite easily used my um, Logitech C930, which I've still got today, which I'm using now for work. But I wanted to kind of hopefully get into the realms of doing this in 4K at some point um, if I can work through the OBS settings and get everything the way I want. Um, and from a microphone perspective, yes, I am using an Elgato Wave 3 mic, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, I have started to get into using some of the Elgato products. I've recently bought a Stream Deck as well, which I will do some videos on. Um, now, I didn't buy them particularly for streaming, but what I wanted to do was kind of get on the words of you know automation and I know some of the stuff you can do with ABS and even Final Fantasy which I, I will certainly need to capture a video on today um, you know is, is kind of on the feasibility of automation and you know I'm a very big fan of automation I will talk about automation in some of my um, you know, home assistant videos that I will produce at some point um, but yeah it's, it's kind of I wanted to get some of my experience over to you guys, you know, my views and takes on things, you know, what, what I've set up, what I've done, what's worked well, what hasn't. Um, talk about my home lab, you know, which I will do a teardown of, of what I've got, um, you know, on a, on a new video, but I've just recently done an upgrade in there to um, full ubiquity and, you know, kind of put in a 10, 10 gig switch aggregation, which has kind of made my cabinet a little bit messier than I'd like it to be. So. Once I've tidied that up a little bit, hopefully maybe during the holidays, which are coming up, um, I'll, I'll record a few videos then, maybe dressed as Santa, you know, why not, you know, so, yeah, so the idea is, is just to kind of give you, you know, a, a kind of the direction of the channel, and, and I may dip into different niches that I kind of enjoyed in the years, um, you know, different, but it's all about what, you know, I'm passionate about, and, you know, I'm not trying to hack any YouTube algorithm, I'm not certainly trying to get monetized as quickly as I can, it'd be great, it'd be fantastic, you know, if I could do more with this channel, if it became my full-time occupation, and you know, I really would love to do that in the, in, the, in, in the near or distant future. But one thing is just to try and share my experiences with you guys, and also to try and, you know, work with you as well, to kind of see what content you'd like to see. You know, if I've got the opportunity to record it, um, and the willingness to record it, why shouldn't I do it? Why shouldn't I share some of my experiences with you guys to, to hopefully 
you know, improve the way or you know disprove if it doesn't work well. Um, you know to kind of you know go on that journey together. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, hopefully you like the direction of the, the videos and the channel in itself. I am open to suggestions as well. So please, if, if you feel like it's something I'm not covering, you'd like me to cover drop it in the comments um, please try and be polite it's my first time at uh, having a go at this um, we'll certainly do a lot on the stream deck uh, sorry the steam deck because that is absolutely phenomenal um, you know and it's, it's a particular niche that I quite enjoy um, in gaming and, and kind of the hardware behind the gaming and some of the stuff you can do on there so yeah um, hopefully you like and subscribe and yeah I'll, I'll see you on the next one um, thank you